this forecast. Brought to you by Wysocki Electric, your South Jersey Generac generator expert. Get hooked up today. Call 856-678-4300. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your drive time forecast out Nor'easter Nick. It has been consistently cold since Friday afternoon. Temperatures really have not budged at all. The needle moving in either direction a degree or two. 34 right now in Marlton and Hamilton, 35 in Mays Landing, 36 in Tuckerton. On the other side of the river, Norristown and Westchester and Media all coming in around the freezing point. We have a little bit of a breeze, not much. Your real field temperatures are pretty much right on par with your actual air temperature. And that's always a good thing because it means that it's not uh, frigid out there. Officially on the books, 34 is our high, 43. Kind of flip those numbers around the average for this time of the year. And there is precedent, not this year at least, for very warm weather this time of the year. 1967, our record high of 74 degrees. So look, overall, it's going to be a cold week. We bump up a little bit tomorrow. But it's a one day thing. I think we get in the lower 40s and then we're right back down into the 30s where we've been. Got a quick moving system, rather weak late tonight, maybe southeast Pennsylvania, northwest New Jersey. In theory, could get down into portions of South Jersey uh, tomorrow. Freezing rain, primary concern, very isolated. It's not going to be a widespread thing, but uh, we'll walk you through it if it does indeed uh, start showing up. By the weekend, yes, there is a larger storm signal on the horizon. That's all we have right now. I think it's possible because we are on the heels of another pattern change. And usually when you go from seeing one type of weather for weeks on end to another set of conditions, you see the bigger signals. I don't know what that was. I was like a, a robot kind of like glitching. Uh, but usually the ingredients come together and it's been consistently showing up on our forecast guidance with this bigger snowstorm. I'm not ready to buy into it, but I will recognize the potential as we are five days out. All right. What we're looking at here is essentially where high pressure, where the Atlantic Ridge sets up, because that's going to be absolutely key into determining where this thing could potentially go. All right. We have a little piece of energy that could interact with it, but we're looking at a deeper area of low pressure coming up from the Gulf of Mexico with all that moisture. If that high pressure system is in the right position, then you could bring this up along the coast. Now it's a progressive pattern, meaning it's not going to last forever. It's a quick moving storm in and out of here. So the two foot snowfall totals that I'm seeing, I really don't think that's reasonable, but we could see a plowable snow if it were to all work out. It's Monday, still a chance it could trend to the West, could go out to sea. We're really not going to know exactly uh, where it's going to go until probably Wednesday. Models are very good. Uh, about three or four days out. 29 in Hamilton, 29 in Mays Landing, and 25 in Tuckerton, and 32, a little warmer up in Asbury Park. Norristown coming in at uh, 26. Here's a little system coming through late tonight. The ground is so cold that anything that falls out of the sky will stick, and if it's rain, freezing rain potential is there. But overall, tomorrow looks to be a cloudy day. This model's picking up on a little rain uh, towards your morning commute. Yeah, that could be a little bit of an issue. So we'll watch that closely and keep that in the back of your mind that you might have to leave the house a little earlier than you usually do in case those roads are a little icy. By 9 o'clock, 31 degrees south to southwest winds at 7 miles an hour, partly cloudy, still below normal. I mean, we're kind of like right where we should be, but then we start to fall again. Look at this. On Wednesday, down into the 20s. Saturday, we'll throw in a chance of snow showers. Right now, I have it at about a 30% chance. We'll see if we're able to bump that up, perhaps. 33 sunny skies on Sunday, still in the 30s by next Monday.